Good morning guys, so it's a new week, a new vlog. I am just stuck on, wow, that is such an unflattering angle. I actually look like, yeah, that's unflattering. But any who's, yes? Triangle, can you do a circle? You can, just try. Let's see if you can do it. Can you do it? All your fingers, all. See, circle. You can do it. Um, basically, I'm just stuck on the North Circle. I'm going to a photo shoot with Aiden, and it's crawling like a snail because the North Circular line around London is just a nightmare. Um, but we're going to the studio again because apparently last week he did so well and he was so good that I called um, Aiden's kind of like modeling agency and asked us if we could go back this week because they want to shoot more clubs on him and apparently he was really good so that's good news um and i'm happy that he's enjoying it this morning i was like we're going to take photos and he was like yay because basically child modeling isn't really asking them to pose or do anything really it's basically just on set playing and then the photographer just like snaps away so for him it's just going to a play group I guess because there's quite a few um, other children there as well so he just gets to play with them so yeah that's what we're doing on a early morning and then uh, not sure what I'm going to do afterwards like I'm all the way in North London I'm not sure if I should make the day out of it because we're already out or if we should do something else I'm not sure not sure are you excited to Ying Sang Sang? Yeah. Um, and my friend's actually going to be there. Um, her, my friend, her son, does modelling as well. And we're in the same agency. She was the one who actually recommended me um, the agency that Aiden's with. And that's why I went with them. Otherwise, I, I wouldn't have known where to look or start. Like, I really I thought about child modelling before because people used to always ask me and tell me that I should get Aiden into it. But I was just like a bit like on the fence. I was just like, mm, I'm not sure if he'd like it. And he's quite shy and he's quite reserved. But now he's really come out of his shell and he loves playing with other kids. So that's when I decided to do it, like late last year, I think. We've just finished a shoot and we're both starving. So we've come out for lunch. I'm just waiting for a panini and then I have a coffee. And uh, my friend got him these for his birthday back in November and he's only just opened them. So that's keeping him occupied for now. I'm just in Holland and Barrett's and on Instagram, I asked everyone um, if they had a eyebrow growth treatment and everyone said castor oil, which is a natural kind of oil. So I'm in Holland and Barrett's and I'm gonna get this one. It's 10 pounds. So I'm not sure if I can put it on my eyelashes, but definitely can put it on my eyebrows. So I'm gonna get this one. We are home now and I feel drained, just like usual. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I don't have the energy that I used to have. Don't know if it's old age or what, but you know, I get tired really easily. I think it's because as soon as we wake up, it's like get ready, leave the house and go, go, go. Like it's non-stop. So by the time it comes like now, when it's like 3 or 4 p.m. in the afternoon, I'm just shattered. Ah, oh, my home is a mess. You should see my kitchen. Is it messy? Yeah. It's very messy, isn't it? I'm playing Thomas. You wanna play Thomas? Yeah. Okay then, I should. Where's the rest? Oh, they're all up there. Up there. Up there. And Aiden's, um, it's not focused. Aiden's eye infection is, um, I think, a little bit back again. So he's on eye drops again, and I'm gonna see how it is for the next few days. If it doesn't get any better, I'm gonna go to the doctors with him because it's the second time he's had it now. It's not as bad as the first time. The first time was like a full on eye infection, but now I feel like it's at the beginning stage. So I've already got the eye drops. Um, yesterday went to the supermarket got a um, eye drop from the pharmacy and we'll see how that goes but fingers crossed that is not an eye infection whilst we were out i just got a couple of hair clips from this shop this shop has a lot of accessories and jewelry 
and I got these hair clips which are really nice um, these are like pearl and diamonding ones I think I'm going to use these on myself and I'll see how it looks if not then I'm going to put it into my bridal kit I'm trying to like gather hair accessories because a lot of the times I um, do bridal trials and hair trials and a lot of the brides don't have hair accessories yet so it's hard to see what kind of hairstyle like you kind of want when you don't have the hair accessories so what I'm gonna do is buy a bunch of different hair accessories and have it in my bridal kit so that when a bride doesn't have hair accessories then at least I have something to put in the hair and see how it looks so yeah those are the ones that I bought these were eight pounds and then these were ten pounds gonna um put a face mask on and then call it a night i am actually shattered it's only like half past seven but these days i'm in bed by like nine o'clock and then by 10 30 ish i'm fast asleep but this oil is dripping down wow it's um everywhere i'm just gonna go clean up my eyelids. Good morning guys, today is another day, another vlog day and I'm just at the petrol station, just finished getting petrol, just waiting for the lady in front of me to leave. Um, we're gonna go on a day out today, I'm gonna go pick up my friend and her two kids and then we're gonna go to Greenwich and have a nice day out. Amelia, Amelia. we're gonna go get Amelia, yeah. And let me put my, um... okay, let's go. Let's go. Ooh. Eden, who is it? Mia. Do you like her? <gasps> Say hello, she's coming. Are you going to make space for her in the car? Yeah. <laughs> We've just arrived in Greenwich. We're at the museum. We're just getting coffee uh, with my friends and her kids. And she's hiding behind Aiden. But her little kids and there's five of us so it'll be fun and we're just having a little snack and some biscuits now before we like walk around the museum and my friend oh what's so funny Eden what are you doing making a lion so we just come I've got crayfish and prawn uh well Aiden's got chicken bouchons with chips I've got extra chips, of course. Yeah, so it's like it. potato wedges. Yeah. Came back from Greenwich and I've just been at my friend's house for a few hours. Aiden's just playing with the kids and, you know, having some fun. And we just had pizza. Um, had Domino's. Lots of pizza. And yeah, probably going to go home in about half an hour or so. Um, got a parking ticket, even though I paid for my parking. So I need to go home and sort it out. Not good. <laughs> just like. Good morning, guys. Well, it's like nearly afternoon. It's a birthday today. This little one's gonna go to nursery soon. Are you gonna go to Fowler Hall? No. No. I've just um, finished taking some selfies. And um, to be honest, when I take selfies, I coffee, coffee. She's trying to eat my fist. Um, when I do selfies, I. Get ready on my top half and then my bottom half. I still have my PJs on, and I'm wearing the new Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk stuff because I'm gonna do my giveaway today. Up, up, yeah, and then I'm gonna get this, and then like this. Oh, you want to sit like this? Is it so that they can see you as well? Do you want to say hi? Hi, where are you going later? Um, you're going to school. Yeah. Yeah? Mummy pick you up later? Yeah. Do you want to take some photos with Mummy? Yeah. He's really into taking photos right now. What photos do you want to take? Um, I don't know. You don't know. Just buy my Topshop shirt, PJs from Primark, and then these earrings for from Nasty Girl, from my last Nasty Girl haul. Um, it, it looks really nice actually with this shirt. I really like it. It's quite like glam 
but I'm not glam at all because I'm at home in my Michael. PJs <laughs> in bed. Marshall. Marshall. What have Bye. you? What have you got on? Who's that? Um, Grinch. 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 I like. I like. I like you, Santa. You like Grinch Santa? Yeah. Oh yeah, he's got a Santa hat on, hasn't he? Yeah. Who's Santa? Santa because okay. mummy buys you all the presents don't I yeah. honestly this guy just speaks complete Chinglish like yeah. he's yeah. Um, not fluent but he does understand everything that I say in Cantonese and I'm actually thinking of doing a video um, about us two like a whole day just speaking Cantonese to him and seeing how he reacts it's like a 24 hour mommy challenge Paul. mommy Paul okay come on then up 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 higher. Higher? Higher. Yeah, you made it. Where does it is? Yeah. Just leave it. Yeah. Okay. Mummy, two minutes. Two minutes? Yeah. Okay, mummy needs to wash your face. Okay, face. Oh, God. Careful. <laughs> I've just taken a bunch of selfies for my pillow talk little giveaway and honestly guys angles are important I honestly take so many selfies and then I only choose one or two like if I show you that one like that angle makes my uh, forehead look really small but then if I just tilt my head a little bit it looks a lot better and then if I put my hair down on the sides then it looks better again and then that one looks completely different as well so honestly guys for those who ask me about selfies take as many as you can because that's um, a video that I took um, but hi baby do you want to come inside no but honestly take as many as you can and then choose the best one because I honestly take so many and then they look different in every single angle always take your selfies in front of a window as well because this is all natural daylight i just feel like natural daylight is the best and look that is a different window to this window and it's got a bit of a different result it's not as um this one looks a lot softer and then this one looks a lot more harsh so yeah different angles different lighting can make the biggest difference and i think i've gone for this one i think i like this one and this one I've just filmed a Topshop haul I've got some really great things and I love the majority of it but I bought this yesterday and then my friend texted me this morning saying that Topshop is doing 20% off so you know what I'm gonna return all of this and then we order everything online because there's 20% off <laughs> But I just wanted to quickly show you guys these sandals. These are so, so pretty. These are from Topshop and they were £24, which I think is quite a good bargain. I think these are going to sell out really quick because it's that style and colour that's really popular every single spring, summer. And I think these are going to be, you know, one of those sandals that you see a lot of people wearing, but I don't care because they're really nice. I really like the square shape at the front and I also got these ones as well. So if you haven't seen my Topshop haul yet, go ahead and watch it. And the lady actually left one of these tags on, so it looks like I've stolen it. <laughs> but obviously I haven't and she's just left it on. And what I liked about these leopard print ones were the hardware is black and that's very rare normally they put like gold or silver on but it's black so i thought that looked actually really nice i am actually so tired my eyes are like drooping because i'm so tired and it's not even five o'clock yet i basically filmed my video edited i can't even talk because i'm not tired basically filmed my video did the editing and I'm about to upload it now but I'm not sure if I should upload it now or if I should upload it when I get back because I need to go pick up Aiden from nursery soon and I like to be at my computer when a video uploads just in case there's any mistakes or whether YouTube messes it up or you know 
like there's a lot of possibilities so I like to be at my desk and at my computer when I upload so that if anything does go wrong touch wood which normally it doesn't but it has done a couple of times um, then I can be there to sort it out straight away instead of being like out and about and not being able to do anything about it so that's what I normally do and oh my gosh my eye contact is really really dry so that's what I've done and then I just posted a giveaway on um, Instagram I think that by the time you guys see this video it might still be up um, 3rd of March yeah it should still be up basically um, in my last vlog I mentioned that the lovely PR girls sent me the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk collection and they also sent me a duplicate of everything so I had two of everything and I uh, was going to do a giveaway and basically that giveaway is now live on Instagram and this is the photo like this is literally why am I tapping that I should be tapping this <laughs> um, basically this is the photo that I took this morning it was one of the selfies and then I just took a product shot to go with it so that's up on my Instagram now if you want to enter um, I know that I think it's back in stock now pillow talk but I know that for a while it was all sold out I think because um, it was really popular because of the Victoria's Secret show and everyone just wanted it and it was sold out everywhere but it's now back in stock I think but if not then I am giving away the whole collection so it's like the eyeshadow cord the blusher the lip liner and the lipstick and I did put on a bit of red lipstick on top of what I already had this morning just because I was filming a video and I wanted red lips so yeah that's what I've been doing for the past two hours just sat here and my oh I need a massage but yeah oh my gosh I've just seen that big massive cobweb up there when did that get there oh my gosh I need to sort that out now we've just come into Lidl because I saw on Facebook that they have these little trolleys and to be honest Morrison's used to have them but the ones in Morrison's all went missing because you didn't need a coin to get one but little a bit smarter you need a coin to get one which is good because it means every time he comes he's got one to push you around you ready turn around careful that way that way that way the other way Eden oh sorry sorry this way this way Keep going. <laughs> Go on. Yeah. <laughs> that is cute. <laughs> Just got home from food shopping. Dinner is on. He's having mash because he's obsessed with mash, and that's the only thing that he will he will eat these days. And I've um, got some cod, um, breaded cod as well. Um, and it's enough beans because he's basic and he likes basic food. Did you put your shoes back? Yeah. And you cooked? Yeah. Where did you put your cooked? Uh. Just bought these. These remind me of my holiday when I went to uh, Croatia and we had these in Croatia and we bought... How did you know Croatia is holiday? Yeah. How did you know? Do you know where Croatia is? Yeah. Where? Where? Yeah. So, let's see if it tastes the same. What? What? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Where's the good dog down? Hold yeah. the good dog down. You can only have one. Yeah, have one. Because you're going to have dinner in a minute. Mummy, one, three, eight, nine, two. No, you're not having ten. Mummy, one, three, no. One, two. This little guy is just tidying because we're gonna have movie night. We're gonna eat popcorn and watch a movie. You're gonna tidy that up. Okay. 
Did you put it back? Yeah. Oh, finished. Finished? Yeah. Is it nice and tidy? Nice and tidy. What about that? Oh, that Aiden. What? That one. I'm just sat sorting out my PR packages so I thought I'd just quickly give you an overview of what's coming to my purse box this week so I will begin with hair care because this is what I really really am looking forward to using and something that I really need because my hair is really important to me right now so Philip Kingsley sent over some hair care and Philip Kingsley is a brand that I am very fond of. It's a brand that I've used before and I know that I will love. They sent me the bodybuilding shampoo, which I am excited to try. This is the moisture balancing conditioner, blow dry spray, um, flaky itchy scalp, which is something that I probably need right now because my head is so itchy. I'm about to jump into the shower. And then this is the Daily Damage Defense Extreme. So this is like a anti-breakage conditioning spray. So I'm really looking forward to trying this. Thank you so much, Philip Kingsley. I love it when I get packages like this because I just know that I'm going to use every single thing in the parcel. In that Maybelline sent over some of their new Tattoo Brow um, Gel. It's basically one that you paint on. And I'm not sure if it's the same one as the one that you peel off but I think this one is a little bit different because it has different packaging but I'm really excited to try that because my microblading has literally nearly like 80% faded now so sometimes in the morning I do wish I can wake up with an already done brow and then Bare Minerals sent me some stuff um, lots of like little bits from the packaging um, they sent me a couple of their skincare stuff this is the uh, Vital Power Infusion and then this is the Sleeping Gel Cream. Never tried Bare Minerals skincare before. So looking forward to giving that a while and this is the eye cream. Oh, eye cream, eye cream. I am going to say this and this is a reminder to myself to always remember to put on eye cream because eye cream is the one thing that I should really focus on but it's the one thing that I always forget to do and then they sent me some makeup these are the Gen Nude eyeshadow primers and these both look gorgeous like definitely something that I would use and then there's also the ink eyeliner this is the Bare Minerals eyeshadow palette um, rose and then this is a Lash Domination uh, Mascara. The Lovely Girls sent me the new perfume from that, which I can never pronounce properly. So if you know how to pronounce that, please comment down below and let me know and save myself from embarrassment. <laughs> but the um, bottle looks like a lipstick. That's really cute. And I've seen a lot of this on Instagram. So I'm really excited to give that a little sniff. And then Glossier, oh, Glossier. I do love a bit of Glossier and I also love these little packages that they send them in because I keep these and then when I'm travelling I put my um, toiletries and liquids in. So they have come out with a new milky oil waterproof makeup remover which sounds amazing because everything that I use on my face is like long lasting and waterproof so this is the type of thing that I need. And then I've got a another milky jelly cleanser. Already have one of these, but it's like half used up. So thanks for the backup. And then Benefit sent me the uh, mascara collection. Love this one. One of my staples. Haven't really used this one before. I've tried it, but not like given it a good well. And then Bad Girl Bang, it's amazing. I use it for my bottom lashes because it is really good at separating the eyelashes. And this one's really good at um, lengthening and giving volume. Sunday Riley also sent me a retinoid serum. And retinols and retinoids is something that I've been looking into a lot recently because I feel like I'm at the age where I need to start using these kind of things. Even though my skin is pretty good right now, 
as so many need to take care of it and prevent aging and fine lines and all that kind of scary stuff even though I'm not like scared scared I'm gonna embrace my skin but it always helps if you can prevent it in the chiffon she sent me a couple of lipsticks always love chiffon she makeup these are the rouge interdict satin lipsticks and I have one in number 22 and one in number 13 have a bunch of chiffon she lipsticks already and they're so luxurious and really good formulas because um, they're really smooth and the color payment color payment color payment is um, really good so looking forward to trying these as well so yeah that's what I've been sent this week I've got a feeling that I've got a couple of more parcels in the post office that I need to collect I haven't been down to look at my purse box but yeah so hope you enjoyed that <laughs> hello coffee happy Saturday I need my hair and I thought I would show you this part because a lot of you guys have been asking me what straighteners I use I'm basically half ready because I have my makeup on uh, this morning I actually did a bit of work I had a bridal job as well and then I came home and had a really good shower because my hair was so dirty didn't have time to wash it this morning and I had like really basic makeup on so I came home and I thought I'm just, just jumping in the shower and get ready properly and do my makeup properly because I'm going to take a, a couple of photos and the straighteners that I use are these ones these are by GHD I've had these for years and years now I would say like four years four or five years and they're still going really strong and they are the straighteners of choice because I feel like they straighten hair the best like it literally gets my hair perker straight can you see how straight that is so this is the side that's straightened really nice and straight and smooth and then this is the side that's not been straightened this is just air dried and as you can see I have like a natural wave here for some reason I think it's because the hair length sits on my hair here so when it's wet it just dries like that which I don't really like so I'm going to straighten it I just prefer it to be straight and sleek like this I've just finished taking a bunch of photos and um, outfits and makeup and um, pictures and I'm not really feeling my makeup today have you ever had that feeling when you've spent so long on your makeup and your hair and you just don't feel your best today is one of those days where I just don't feel that great I just feel like I'm not sure I'm not sure if it's because I don't have false eyelashes on and I'm used to wearing falsies I'm not sure don't know what it is maybe the lip color is too bright I feel like I've got a little bit too much blusher on my face is looking greasy as hell <laughs> and yeah I'm just gonna go refund my stuff now and it's a really chilled Saturday night I was actually gonna go to uh, Central with my friends and have lunch and dessert but um, last minute one of her kids um, fell ill so it was best that she just stayed at home and looked after her kid really so we've had to um, organize another day instead which is quite good actually because I've got a lot of things done I just got home and um, I refunded my stuff at Topshop took quite a while because there's quite a lot of stuff and I think my Topshop parcel actually came this morning and um, a lady rang the buzzer and I let her in but then somehow no one came to my door so I don't know if it was the top shop parcel or not whether it's just some, for someone else I've just received a couple of things from my purse box oh Urban Decay's new Naked Reloaded palette so this is just coming to my um, purse box oh wow this is fabric I'm not sure how that will come across on camera but it is like fabric and it's like squidgy oh wow that is really pretty um, this is not the best lighting to show off an eyeshadow palette but it is gorgeous and I'll probably put it onto my Instagram stories but those are the eyeshadows so it's quite like browns and pinks and then I also ordered some eyelashes because 
a couple of evenings ago I was online and false eyelashes that could at UK were doing an offer I'm not sure if I'm focused I think I need to get a new camera guys and they were doing 20% um, off so I ordered two packs of eyelashes I ordered some demi wispies and some wispies this is £11.99 for five pairs and I got an extra 20% off so that's like just under £10 for um, five pairs of adult lashes so that is really good for you and the demi wispies go into my makeup kit um, a lot of brides use demi wispies because it's like a natural but kind of still something like far far room in their wispies are for myself or for whoever wants to use them really some brides like to like do a little bit more far far room so I went to Nespresso and I got my coffees I've been out of coffee for a few months now and I keep forgetting to get some so I haven't had my morning coffee I've been drinking um, tea I got Roma and I got Ris Ristoretta uh, these are the two that I drink. They're quite strong, but I like my coffee strong. And then I picked up some makeup remover because I'm out. I got Simple, um, the dual effect one, the one that you shake up, and then micellar water from Garnier. And I also went to MAC because my Fix Plus has finished. So I went to get a new one, and she suggested the matte one. and. I haven't tried this one yet so I'm looking forward to trying it. I have quite oily skin so I think the matte version would be a good idea really. That feels so good. I thought this is probably better lighting uh, to show you the palette. That is very pretty, it's a really good everyday palette. Like these colours are so me. 9 a.m. on a Sunday morning as you can tell by my voice I'm still very tired <laughs> but I have stuff to do and um, for breakfast I'm having special K with raspberries and then a Nespresso pod that I bought last night um, I have the Ristretta with almond milk Good morning guys, today is a Sunday I've just gotten ready really really quickly because it was a last minute decision but me and my friend are going to go to Shoreditch we're going to go to Columbia Flower Market and I'm going to go pick her up um, Today I'm wearing my black Topshop t-shirt Sinker store necklace My jacket is from Nasty Girl It was from my Nasty Girl haul and it's finally warm enough to just wear this because it is quite thin so it wouldn't have done when it was a bit colder a few weeks ago but now it's fine and i have my gap jeans on these are um, i'm not sure but i'll link it all down below and then i have my manga booties on rings as usual accessorized and then my watch is daniel wellington but i'll put everything in the um info bar anyways so that you can get links We've just arrived at Columbia Road Flower Market with my friend Alice. I haven't been here since like last summer. So yeah, it took us quite a while to find parking. We had to ask quite a few um, traffic wardens. But we're here now and there's a lot of people taking Instagram pictures. <laughs> This is the plant that I want. It is humongous. It actually grows so big. I think it's called a banana plant. I'm not too sure, but it is really hard to find. But I'm not going to be buying it today, of course. But it is the one that I want. It's so pretty. We are just walking through the crowd. There's a lot of people. And actually, you can't see. The sun is like shining. It's really sunny. Um, yeah, we're just trying to get through the crowds to get some flowers. And it's getting quite difficult because there's a lot of people. It came quite lit, and I thought there wouldn't be like that many people, but it's actually still really crazy. These are all of the succulents, and there's someone having an argument at the back. Look. So many plants. If you like plants, definitely come here. Look how sunny it is. We've just 
just um, put the flowers in the car and then we're walking to Brick Lane because we're going to get a bagel. I think the sun's not as sunny now, <laughs> but you can see her. But it is really sunny, I'm quite surprised because it's still February. And yeah, I'm quite hungry. I had breakfast this morning but I haven't had anything since. And it's now 3 o'clock, so it's kind of like afternoon tea time. But yeah, we're going to get a bagel. We are now down Brick Lane, we're going to go to Beagle Bake, which is this shop here. It's open 24 hours and if you come to London, definitely try it because it is the best salt beef bagel you will ever try. <laughs> it's the bomb and there's always a queue, look at the queue. Oh my gosh, Alice, that's a queue. Oh my god. It goes down quite quickly though, so it should be okay. But yeah, this one is really popular. We've just come into um, and other stories with our coffee. Um, we still need to eat, we haven't eaten yet, but we are getting distracted by shopping because obviously shopping is more important than food. Yeah, I love and other stories, even though I shouldn't be shopping. Let's see what they have. They have some really cute um, phone holders, but they're all for iPhone 6 and I have the XR. So not for me, but this um, card wallet is really cute. I really like the brown colour. So, oh, that gold clip is nice as well. So we've got dumplings from Dumpling Shack, and then Alice got fries from Indigo. These are chili fries. Didn't we have these last week? I think so. <laughs> I think we, I think we did. Yeah, let's try these. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have that much water in it. <laughs> We finished our dumplings and it was really really good and we had uh, spicy fries as well and we've just been to get a um, cake dessert um, from one of the stalls called Wu Cake Dessert and yeah we're going to share it, they are being good so we've just got one and then we're going to share it, it was £3 for one so let's have a look. Let's Share it. You bite it though. <laughs> I'll eat the other half. But then I've got lipstick on. Okay. I'll eat your lipstick. Mmm. Then I've got a bit hot inside. Big pancake. It's like warmish. Oh my god, guys, look at these sausages. <laughs> They are looking very good, but I'm so full right now. Just getting our beef bagel, even though we are stuffed. Have you tried one of these before? The um, apple, apple slice. Yeah, it's like an apple turner, but it's really yummy. We're lucky because we've just got the fresh batch of salt beef. It's literally just came out from the back and we're going to be the first ones to get some of it. Look how good that looks. Oh, I'm sorry. Mustard and pickle, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> but yours are really nice, and then mine's just like one blob. <laughs> I think it's the way he's put it, like, yeah. the way it's not. The most fun. I don't know if it's like a little shape. I don't know if it's a little shape. I'll put this in my face now. <laughs> we just got back to our car and we just took selfies and now we're eating a big. <laughs> I can't do it. Mm. It's so full. How come there's no like mustard on this side? Is it all in the middle? Yeah. It's just a big piece of gherkin. Mm. If you come to That's London, awesome. try this because it is really, really good. Mm. It's quite good for you as well. Salted. Is it salty? Mm. Come on, it's still fun. warm. Mm, you want some? Let me have a a bite. Oh. And the at the bottom. Mm. It's stuck to my tooth. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone in my tooth. 
Mm. <laughs> oh my god. It's got ham, it's like quarter past six, so it's quite early still, but I feel really tired. And look at my pretty flowers. These were £17.50. The hydrangea was £10 and then the rest was £7.50 which I think is really good and all of the flowers are like really fresh and it's quite a big bunch as well so yeah I would highly recommend if you like flowers visit the Colombian flower market because it's honestly a, such a great place to get flowers and plants and especially if you're getting married or you're like want to do like flower arranging or bouquets and you don't want to go to the early flower markets then head to, to there because the flowers are like top notch quality so yeah I can't wait to put these in a vase I'm not sure if I have a vase that's big enough so I'll have to see but yeah I'm tired and my friend uh, gave me one of her salt beef bagels to bring her even though I'm really full and that has like a little bit of it Mm. Does anyone actually do this? I said I got home at quarter past six. It is now half past seven and I still have my jacket on and the only thing I've done is took off my shoes. I haven't even put the flowers in a vase yet. <laughs> Does anyone do this? Like every time they get home and they have a moment to themselves then I just sit and talk to my friends on whatsapp and then i check instagram and then i end up watching a youtube video and then i end up for like sat here for like two hours and yeah i need to make a move wipe this face off because i'm looking a bit greasy and oh yeah i used the mac cosmetics um matte fix plus today and did it make a difference i think it did make a difference when i first ooh, when i first finished um, putting my makeup on and I fixed it with the spray it was matte um, but if I'm talking about throughout the day whether it kept my face matte then not really like it didn't really um, do any different to the original fix plus so I would repurchase it like if I do buy the fix plus I would just get the matte one still but if you already have the original fix plus then you don't need to rush out and buy it because it's you know it's good but it's not that much of a difference so yeah just a little heads up and yeah i'm gonna end the vlog here now guys i hope you enjoyed it this little guy's going crazy